Hey Pixels, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to design this bright and vibrant responsive website in Adobe XD. You'll also learn how to use some of the latest features in Adobe XD while you're at it. Before we jump into the tutorial, I wanted to give a huge shout out to bookmark.com for partnering with me on today's video. Spend time living your life, not running your website. Create a free brand new website in only two minutes, seriously. Bookmark.com is the first and fast AI powered website builder. They have an AI named Ada, Artificial Intelligence Design Assistant, that builds original websites. Simply answer some questions about what kind of site you want and watch Ada go to work. Easy to set up, no designer code skills needed, perfect for new online stores and businesses. Sign up for a free account using the link in the description box below and try out the product yourself. We know you'll love it. First, let's set up the artboards. Since we're designing a responsive website, we'll need to add three artboard sizes to our document. NXD will select the artboard tool and in the right panel, we'll select the following artboards, Web1280, iPad, and iPhone X. For the Web1280 artboard, we'll enable the layout grid and set columns to 12, gutter width to 40 pixels, and margin to 96. For the iPad artboard, we'll set the gutter to 20 pixels. Finally, for the iPhone X artboard, we'll set the gutter to 16 pixels. Now that we've set up the artboards, we can start designing. First, let's draw a white borderless rectangle that's 1280 by 100 pixels. On the left-hand side, we'll add a logo and some menu items. On the right-hand side, we'll add a language picker, a search icon, and a cart icon. The hero section for this website has a very unique layout. Let me show you. First, we'll draw a rectangle that's 640 by 500 pixels. Below, we'll draw a rectangle that's 640 by 200 pixels. Then beside the two rectangles, we'll draw a final rectangle that's 640 by 700 pixels. The first rectangle will be yellow and borderless. We'll add a heading and apply the H1 character style. Then we'll add some lorem ipsum as paragraph text by drawing a rectangle and using the lorem ipsum plugin and applying the body large character style. To design the button, we'll draw a borderless rectangle with a four pixel border radius. We'll color it red and apply the button character style to the button label. We're going to enable padding and add 12 pixels top and bottom and 24 pixels right to left. Since we'll be using the button throughout the entire design, we'll turn it into a component. The rectangle below will contain an image, so I'll drag and drop the image right onto the shape object. I'll also remove the shape's border. The final rectangle will be red and borderless. We'll draw four decorative borderless circles applying colors from our color palette. Then I'll place this image of mobile devices on top. To add some visual interest to this image, I'll turn on 3D transforms in Adobe XD and rotate the image on its X and Y axis until I'm satisfied with how it looks. Below the hero section is the second section of our website. This section will include a promo about the different phone plans and features. 
For this section, let's first add a white borderless rectangle. On the left side, we'll write a heading and apply the H2 character style. Then we'll add some paragraph ipsum and apply the body large character style. Below we'll add a button. On the right side, we'll list four plan features using a combination of icons and text. First, draw a light yellow borderless circle that's 80 pixels. We'll duplicate the paragraph text and place it next to the circle. We'll need to duplicate the list to create a total of four features. We can duplicate by hitting Command or Control D on our keyboards or using XD's repeat grid by hitting Command R on your keyboard. Within the circle, we'll add our first icon using the Icons for Design plugin in XD. Feel free to be creative and look for icons you think would be appropriate for this features list. We'll update each icon and text accordingly. The third section will be an About Us section encouraging users to learn more about the company. To design this section, we'll first draw a borderless rectangle that's yellow. Then, we'll duplicate the rectangle and move it onto the pasteboard to better see what we're doing. We'll grab the decorative circles from the Hero section and place it on top of the rectangle. We'll need to recolor the circles so that the inner circle is yellow and the outer circles are pink and blue. I'll also move the rectangle layer so that it's on top of the decorative circles. Then we'll select all the objects, right click and select mask with shape. Now we can move the object back onto the artboard. We just need to add a heading and apply the H2 character style and some text applying the body large character style. The final section in our website is where we'll display all the phones available for purchase. We'll write a headline describing the section, applying the H2 character style. Then we'll add four device photos, placing them evenly across the layout grid. Below the device photo, we'll write the name of the device applying the H4 character style. We'll then write the price of the phone applying the body large character style. Finally, below we'll add a buy now button. Last but certainly not least is the footer of our website. This footer is going to be very minimalistic. First, we'll draw a borderless rectangle that's a really light shade of yellow. On the left hand side, we'll add some footer menu items applying the menu character style to the text.
Then we'll add copyright text applying the body large character style. On the right hand side, we'll add four social media icons. We'll draw a circle that's 56 pixels with a two pixel brown border and light yellow fill. Within the circle, we'll add a social media icon using the Icons for Design plugin in XD. We'll repeat this to make a total of four social media icons. A final step that I like to do after I complete a design is to clean it up and organize the layers. That involves several steps, like making sure that spacing and or padding is consistent throughout each section in the design. I also organize the layers panel by giving relevant and clear names to layers, grouping images, and turning repetitive objects into components. Designing the tablet and mobile versions of the website is easy. It's just a matter of tweaking the size and positioning of each object. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy some speed designing while listening to this nice lo-fi beat. For the shop section of the website, note that I'm enabling horizontal scroll for the group of devices. This will allow users to horizontally scroll to see the featured devices, saving much needed screen real estate.
When designing for mobile, I adjust the size of the heading a size down and I apply the body small character style to all the paragraphs. So there you have it. That's how you design a responsive website in Adobe XD. As always, be sure to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Subscribe to Excel Pixel for more great videos on design, code, and tech. I'll see you in the next video.